guys and welcome back in this video i will show you how you can edit the animation that we created in our previous video using procreate how you can make this animation longer and add a background sound to it using the free app imovie in this way your animation will look a little bit more professional and it will look better when you share it with the world don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet and click on that bell so you can turn on notifications and you know when my next video is out i'm always publishing cool tips and tricks on things that you can do on your ipad to stay organized and be creative okay so let's start iMovie is such a powerful tool it's free you can just go and download from the app store and believe it or not this is the app that I use to edit all of my videos it's so very simple to use but at the same time you can really create a lot with it so I'm gonna click on this big plus sign where it says create a project and then where it says movie tap there and then you have all of your items from your camera roll, whether it's photos or in this case the video I just created. So you can't see because it's black, but it's this one. And you know it's a video because it has this little camera icon as well as the length of the video there. And as you can see the video was only 1.9 seconds, which if you want to post that it might be too short. And that's why iMovie is so handy because you can loop the video and make it longer. So I'm going to tap there. And once I have that selected, you click on create movie. So if I tap on my play button, my animation is going to run. Now, as I said, this is very short, only 1.9 seconds. And if I don't loop this and I post it to Instagram, then that's how long it'll be. You can make it longer by tapping on this clip. And this is where your materials will be, whether your videos, your photos, they're all gonna be on this timeline at the bottom here. And then this part is where you can see the result of what you're editing under here. So I select that clip and as you can see now it turned to yellow and then I will go to this button where it says duplicate and now as you can see I have two clips, one on the left, one on the right and if I play my animation, as you can see it turns transparent in the middle and that is because iMovie automatically added a transition effect between clips and that can be helpful sometimes but I don't want it right now. And that transition is this little icon that became in the middle of my clips. So I'm just going to tap there. And at the bottom here where it says none, I'm going to choose there. And now the icon changed. And that means that this is just gluing my clips together, but it doesn't have any effect. So if I go back to the beginning and you can just drag this to the left or right to move through your animation. So if you move it all to the right, you're going to go to the start, click on play. And now you can't see that effect anymore. However, you do see this bit where everything is black. So to get rid of that, I'm going to zoom into my clips. So just drag your fingers to the side and you can't really see because the clips preview is all black. But look, the size of the clip goes bigger and smaller. That means I'm zooming into the timeline here. So I do that so that I can see exactly where I want to cut the clip. And in this case, I want to get rid of the gray bit of the second animation or the second clip. So that's the beginning. So to do that, it's so easy. You just tap on that second clip and you move this left side of the clip to the right to get rid of the beginning. Okay, so this is shortening my clip or lengthening it just by moving this yellow bar. So I'm going to go to my first frame where the H appears and now let's play it, see how it looks. And I think it looks a little bit better and I just want to make this even a little bit longer. So now that I have this clip ready, the one that I just shortened, I can just select it and click on duplicate as many times as I want. I just do have to go change my transitions to none. So tap on the transitions here in between the clips and click on none. Okay, let's play it one more time. Awesome. And as you can see, the animation will play on as many times as you want, as long as you keep duplicating one of these clips. Now, one more thing that iMovie on the iPad is amazing at is adding sound to your clips. And to do that, you will go to this plus sign on the very top right. And I feel like iMovie looks intimidating because there's like nothing, everything's black. You have to like find the icons, but really guys, this is a great app. So now I have a bunch of options here. And what I want is down here where it says audio, you tap there. And what I love about this app is that it already comes with some amazing soundtracks or sound effects that you can use. 
So I'm gonna go to where it says soundtracks and that's what's included in the app. I did not download this at all, it just shows up here. And I think they do add more songs regularly. As you can see, some of them have like a blue dot. That must mean that I haven't heard them. You know, they're just brand new. And here you will see that there's a name for each of the types of music. So it says pop and then you can scroll, then it says playful. So I'm gonna keep going because I'm pretty sure there's something for like the holidays. So I keep going, action, holidays and events. Okay, and now you just look for something that looks like Christmas related and here it is, Sly Ride, okay? So I tap there, it has to download, which took a second only, and then if you tap on that, it'll start playing, and if you're like, oh, I like that song, you just tap on this plus sign and it's gonna automatically bring it to your timeline under your clips, and that's how you know that this is the background music of your movie. So I'm gonna close this now, click on play, and let me make it a little louder. And play again. And that's like a little more fun animation. Another thing, I don't know if you noticed, but the length of the track fits exactly my animation. That's really awesome again from iMovie because they customize the song to however long you need it, it seems. So I don't have to worry about the song ending like in the middle or anything. Look, I'm gonna play the beginning. And if I scroll towards the end, you'll see that it ends as soon as this clip ends. You see? So like, they make it sound... Perfect. Okay, awesome. So now we're ready to export this finished animation. To do that, I have to click on done here in the top left corner. And this is my movie that is done. And then from here, I have this icon here, which is the share or export icon, and I tap there and then save video. And just like that, my movie is ready to go. So let's go to my photos and find it. So I have the first one that I hadn't edited. As you can see, it's two seconds long. And then I have the new one that is seven seconds long. And let me unmute it. Perfect. And now this movie in this format is ready to be shared anywhere on your social media, Facebook, Instagram, send it on an email if you want, and you have created your very own movie. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed this mini tutorial on how to get started using iMovie. Let me know in a comment below if this is something that you're interested in. I personally love and use iMovie every day, basically, and have been doing so for many, many years. So that's something I'm passionate about and it's very useful. Really, you can use it for your business, you can use it for family videos, you can use it for a lot. So if you'd like me to create more videos like this, please let me know in a comment below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.